What's up guys? I wanted to do a quick walkthrough of my 2017 Pro Angler um, from the front to back and kind of everything I have on it. Um, I'm fishing Louisiana right now in the marsh. Not much changes to be honest. Um, this usually is my setup really no matter where I'm fishing. Baits will change obviously. This might come off. Honestly, I don't really need this, but I've been fishing um, trout holes and looking for deeper water. So I have been using my fish finder. Um, I do want to make a note that I am no way um, sponsored um, or on any pro staffs for any of these companies at all. So this is just what I use and this is what I like using as of now. All right, so let's just start at the front. Um, inside my front hatch, it's a little bit messy, but inside I have my, this is my get me out of trouble kit, um, some paracord, extra pair of sunglasses in case I drop it, first aid stuff, super glue, um, a little wrench or uh, yeah, a little wrench and a screwdriver to do any repairs on my um, my drive here if need be. Uh, I don't know, lighter for paracord or who knows, maybe it'll get stuck somewhere I need to start a fire. Whatever, there's some random stuff in here that can get me out of pinch, flashlight, things like that. Um, I've always got a rain jacket in here no matter what, even if it's not raining because it's also like a windbreaker kind of thing. Got some GoPro batteries uh, in this case. I have my EcoX gear solar panel charger, keep my batteries topped off and my cell phone if I need it. I've got a few oatmeals in here for when I get hungry. Um, I do have a few spare rods in here in case my fins get bent and I need to fix it. And it's been cold in Louisiana, so I have some of these, uh, a beanie and a few, you know, neck masks or whatever you want to call them. Um, let's put this back in here. Let's keep moving over here. This is my fish finder depth finder. I've got the uh, Burley Pro visor on it. Um, something really cool about this visor is that my battery has been lasting a lot longer since I've been using it um, because you can keep your uh, brightness on the screen lower because of the shade, if that makes sense. So this is the Lowrance Elite 5 Chirp. Um, honestly, I just use it for water temps, uh, my map, my GPS. Um, I use it to find holes, trout holes, um, things like that so that's what I use this for uh, or if I'm offshore use it and let me just take this uh this bin out real quick so I can show you inside uh, there we go all right so I always keep a pump inside uh just to bail me out of any situations I actually need to charge this battery right here uh this is my 12 volt I use I don't know get like two two of these batteries these 12 volts on Amazon for like 40 bucks and I've never had a problem with these um so let me throw those back in All right, so let's move on to this lighting situation. Um, I actually got this idea from my buddy, Scott Kennedy. He's the owner of Whistling Water Outdoors, Kayak Charters in Gulf Shores, Alabama. Um, this is rigged straight to my battery inside. And this little switch right here will turn the lights on and off. So when I'm night fishing or doing some dock fishing, I got a little bit of light right there. All right, obviously you guys know what's in here. This is just some random, it's kind of a junk drawer for me. Um, things like line, a line cutter, um, things like that to cut my line and braid and stuff like that. Um, I usually always keep my fish grips right on there. These pliers, uh, I should find a better place for them, but they're always floating around. They're usually on my deck. Um, I always keep my action hat on me because I like to film eats. Um, love getting that footage and filming all my eats and sometimes putting them in slow-mo. This is uh, my buddy's company, his name is Rex, uh, makes these action hats so you can get that um, first person view uh, footage of your adventures. So always keep that on board. Underneath the seat, this is where I keep all my tackle. Like I said, I've been fishing in Louisiana, so I've got my tackle boxes in here. All my soft plastics go in this bigger bin. Um, things like my bugs jigs, my top waters, things like that go in this. And this is kind of a miscellaneous box that I've been using um, in Louisiana. Kind of has some just extra things, you know, that I might need when nothing else is working. Moving on to my PFD, I'm using the NRS Chinook along with the NRS Copilot here. Um, this knife just pops off. You know, a lot of people wonder about this knife and they wonder, like, why do you choose a blunt tip? Um, how come it's not sharp on both sides? And I wanted to explain something real quick. Say you're in a situation where, I don't know, let's say you're offshore, you're tangled up in your anchor line for whatever reason. Let's say you have something wrapped around your arm, your, your leg, your ankle. The idea is that you can, you can then slide this knife without hurting yourself against your skin. You can turn it this way so that it's not harming your skin whatsoever because it's not sharp on this side. 
and then you can cut that line off. So that's the reason for this, um, this edge here that's not sharp at all. It's so you can use it for self-rescue. Um, that pops right back in here. Um, love this life jacket, plenty of organization on it. And this is what I am currently using at the moment. Um, now, you notice in the back of my kayak, I don't have a crate. Um, the reason why is because sometimes I like to put an ice chest here. Um, so to, you know, to move away from the crate uh, rod storage uh, situation, I have moved over to mounting these uh, rail blades of star ports to my Hobie rail here. And I keep three of the rail blades of rod holders um, holding three of my rods. So one, two, three, I usually have, right now I've been fishing for trout. So got the popping cork down to the shrimp. This has really been killing the trout out here. And if you wanna make fun of me for using a popping cork, you can because 20 of the best kayak fishermen in Louisiana just fished the pack championship this past weekend and all of them were using popping corks to catch the trout. So ain't no shame in my game. Uh, this is what I've been using a little bit, a little voodoo thing and a bugs jig. And I keep one more rod on me. This is usually actually my topwater rod. And if I have a fourth rod, it goes right into the um, rod tubes. They lay down on the deck. So in the back, I have my net, I have a stringer and I have my, uh, my fish grip. This is uh, the fish stick. Um, this is a collab between Yak Gear and um, fish grip, fish stick. And this right here folds down, it floats, and just an all around good little measuring board that I use. In the back, I have another rail blaze of star port here, and this is what I use for um, a navigation, or not navigation, just a safety light, um, just so people can see me if it's dark, if it's early in the morning, and I hang my flag back here. And uh, moving on to the back, obviously this is Hobie standard right here, so you've got your, um, what do you call this? You got your paddle, duh. And I got my stakeout pole. Um, this is actually my shorter one. This is my my long one is inside the rod tube right now. So I just grabbed this out. It's the same idea. Um, it floats. This is by Yak Gear. Um, floating mud stick push pole. I use it as a as a push pole. But the number one thing I like about it is the fact that it floats because um, I'm constantly dropping this thing. And uh, I guess kind of towards the end is my main. Uh, my main camera, so this is another star port that is just drilled into this plate right here and using a Railblazer camera boom all the way to the mounts up here and this right now has my Hero 5. I actually have my better camera, the Hero 6, on my action hat because like I said, I love filming the eats. So um, all in all, that's basically my setup, guys. Um, it may seem like a lot to you, but to me, honestly, it's I've stripped it down a lot since I started kayak fishing. Um, I might add a few things here and there depending on what I'm fishing, but as of right now, and I guess for the last two years almost, this is this is basically what I've been using. I hope this was somewhat informative for you guys. Um, let me know what's on your kayaks, and uh, I mean, I guess I could show you my rods. This is a uh, this is a Styx rod. This is the number one finesse rod right here. I've got a Leviathan rod on this guy right here and a, what is this? This is an old school McCain rod. I've got some rods in service right now. So I kind of have a mixed match of rods on the kayak. So guys, this is my kayak. This is what's going on. Let me know um, some things you like, some things you disliked. And yeah, let me know what's on your kayak. If you have any videos to any overviews of your kayaks, drop a link and uh, let me see it.